Can you smell this? It's wonderful. Something refreshing. You know what it is? It's a smell of Salesforce knowledge. Smell of you getting more Salesforce knowledge. Are you excited? I'm so excited. This is Salesforce Chef. I am Salesforce Chef and I'm excited to share my knowledge with you today. We'll be talking about Translation Workbench. Translation Workbench is a tool commonly used for translating things such as fields, field sets, record types, report types to another language. Today we'll be looking at how you can use Translation Workbench to override and we'll be looking at it together right now. Are you ready? Let's get started. So here I am in an org. I'm on the setup page. Here's how we get started. I put in translation here and here we see the options for translation settings. Here I click enable. Once it's enabled, I can add languages that I want to enable. I've already added the English language. Add other languages if you want. German, Spanish and others. Next, you can identify the users who can translate. So here I'm choosing myself, SU. I click save. Now I can translate into English or German. But let's make English active. So both languages are active. What I'm going to use translation workbench right now is to change a field name on in the managed package. So here is a custom object called billing. This comes in a managed package called accounting seed. I'm on a billing. This is a custom object in a managed package. There are two things I would like to change. Two things I would like to override. First, I don't like this name customer field. I would like this to be client. This makes more sense to me. Client alpha communications, okay? Second thing I'd like to change is here where it says calc tax. I like to fully write out the name calculate tax. If you go to the object settings here, this is the object I was on. So that field customer, right? If I try to edit it, I cannot, right? It's protected. These fields are grayed out. It's because this is a managed package. I cannot change the field label. Same with the button. Where's the button, button, calc tax, okay? The name of the button is grayed out. I cannot change it. That's where Translation Workbench comes to a rescue. Here's how you do it. You go to Translation Workbench. You go to the part that says Override. And here we choose what do we want to override. I want to override what's in the accounting seat financial suite managed package and this is the component custom field and the custom field is on which object it's on the billing object and here I see all the custom fields on the billing object and the field I would like to override is called customer so here just double click okay see if you hover over here you'll see the pencil just click here and type in client click save it says your changes have been saved and now instead of customer it will say client okay so notice this right here it says customer I will refresh the page now it says client client alpha communications wonderful this is what I wanted next thing calc tax I want this to be calculate tax right okay we'll go back to the same place now we go to button and link label again we'll go to the billing object and here we say calculate tax save okay now it says calculate tax right instead of calc tax Okay, notice this. It says calc tax. I'm refreshing the page. Now it says calculate tax. Wonderful, right? Now, two questions to you. If I go to the object, what do you think it would say when I go to the customer field? It still says customer, okay? Here I'm refreshing the page. 
it still says customer it did not change the label look at it I'm opening the field it still says customer okay would not change anything in the field settings same with the calc tax we did not change the label it still says calc tax furthermore if I go to the page layout here it says customer so that's the original field name customer right but the custom button name has changed but the custom button name has changed so notice the discrepancy right the field label did not change when we go to page layout but the custom button name did change okay so you have to be cognizant one of the problems that happens is a customer might tell you hey you have this custom field in your managed package how come i don't see it it's because they might have used translation workbench to rename the field and that's why you won't see it but when you go to edit layout you do see it so what you can do is just when you go to customer you click this and it will show you where that field is exactly and once you click cust cancel you can see that it's right above opportunity okay now that you got an intro course into a translation workbench make sure to activate it in your org right now and try out renaming overriding a few custom fields buttons and record types